What's up guys, Mark here. Um, you might be thinking, what are you doing on a flight? Well, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm flying all the way to Penang for some Kuwait TL. Because every single person says, oh, the best Kuwait TL is in Penang. And I always think, why? So I thought, you know what, I will. Book the flight and I'm going all the way to Penang for some Kuwait TL. Hey. I'll see you there. Penang has the best Kuwaiti yeah, out, is that true? I'm so excited. All right, thank you. Bye, see you. I don't get why people drive to Penang. It takes like at least four hours if there's traffic much more. My flight, right, from my doorstep to Subang to land in here, two hours. Two hours. Like literally check-in was like 10 minutes at Subang. Flight was less than an hour. Flights were cheap as well. So yeah, I'm here. You might think it's weird that I've come all the way for Kuwaiti out. But like I said, only two hours it took me to get here, and I'm hungry, and I want my Kuwaiti out. Okay, if I told you that I came all the way to Penang for Kuwaiti out, would you think I was crazy? Uh, no. Okay, so I built the grab car to go to Georgetown, and um, I don't actually know where the best char Kuwaiti out is. I want char Kuwaiti out, I want the best one, and I want to ask the locals, so, um, can I ask you? Sorry, I know this is really random. Where, where is the best char kway teow? Lorong Salamat. Lorong Salamat. If it's not good, I don't give you a good rating okay. on Grab Car, yeah? If it's good, what? I give you five stars. Yeah. If not, I give you one star. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the best char kway in Penang. Hello. Kway teow. We have kway here. Ah, oh, okay. So, um, so, I was told that this is the best job for ATL in Penang. Is that right? <laughs> this one is the best, is it? Okay. Uh, Satu job for ATL. Mm. Uh, tak nak uh, panas. Job for ATL ini, sedap? Sedap? So I'm in Penang. I have got my Kuwaiti out. I'm at Lorong Salamats. Apparently one of the best places for char Kuwaiti out. I can't believe I've actually flew all the way here just to try Kuwait Yao. It looks very good. I'm excited. The lady said it was good. The difference between this Kuwait Yao and the one in KL is here we have like the Chinese sausage and also these prawns. Look at those prawns. Allah mak gila gila wallah way. Look at that prawn. That is a big prawn. In KL, the prawns sangat kecil. Tapi sini sangat besar. It's a bit less spicy than usual because Matsale cannot handle the spice. Penang Kuwait Yao. Here we go. Okay, that was worth the flight. And that's worth the flight. You know what? Is that charcoal taste? It's just so nice, like... You can taste, like, the kind of... the burning of the Kuwait Yao. And I've, I can't wait to try this form. Oh, wow. Mmm. Very good, very good. Why I love Kuwait Tiao, right? It's just such a simple dish. You got like cockles, prawns, bean sprouts. Really simple dish. It takes them like five minutes to make, but the combination of all these things are just so magical in your mouth. I would probably say Kuwait Tiao is in my top three Malaysian dishes. Like, seriously, I have it so much. You know, Malaysia is famous for food. You gotta try all these things in different states. I've come here for Kuwait Tiao. I was really hungry, and it's damn good. Mm -hmm. Whoa, it's a bit stupid if I come all the way here just for Kuwait Tiao. It'd be a waste of the flight. So, let's go explore for name. Can I ask you a question? Do you sell bananas here? Hello. Yes. Whenever any of my friends come to Penang, they always take a picture with this motorbike, and apparently it's on this road. I took a grab car, I literally typed in boy on motorcycle mural. Okay, I see a lot of murals. Aha! I have found the one. Okay, so I'm gonna take this picture, but I'm gonna take it on my brand new Huawei P40 Pro, because the camera I hear is absolutely fantastic. All right, I wanna check it out. I wanna see if my Instagram game can beat all my friends in Penang. Can you help me take a picture? Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much.
Hello, how are you? Fine, thank Good. you. It's a very hot day. Soya, no. soya, singa, uh, panas. So panas. So I need ice cream. Any traditional ice cream you can recommend in Penang? For this one, for traditional ice cream. Okay. That, that's ice cream. Passion fruit. Passion fruit. I'm a very passionate guy. Ah, so I so think I might like this. Okay. Uh, Brapa? Brapa? Two ring it. Two ring it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Right, now the Huawei P40 Pro has got not one time zoom, not two, not five, not ten, not twenty, fifty times. Yes, gi la la, fifty times zoom. So what I'm going to try and do now is, I see a boat down there, there's a man, I don't know what he's doing, I just see a boat. I'm going to see if I can zoom in fifty times and see what he's doing. Whoa, look at that. Okay, ten times. Wow, oh my god, it's so clear as well. I'm going to focus on this yellow crane. Whoa, look at that. I cannot even see the crane from here. I mean, look at that. Okay, look, look here right now. Look how far the crane is away. Look how far the crane is away. And look how close you can see on here. That is amazing. Wow, 50 times zoom. Who would have thought 10 years ago there'd be a phone with 50 times zoom that's that clear? So obviously the MCO, coronavirus, a very bad thing. But if there is one positive thing that happened from it, I would say is that more Malaysians and more Malaysians like me who live in Malaysia have actually travelled to other states in Malaysia more. So uh, kita cannot allow to go flying overseas. We cannot go to like Japan or Korea or Bali. So we are forced to travel around Malaysia and it makes us realise how beautiful Malaysia actually is. And I need to get a new face mask because she's just getting annoying now. Walla way, look at these cakes. These look amazing. Look at this tiramisu. How can one person finish this? This is like five people's worth of cake, I'll tell you what. Tiramisu, salted caramel cheesecake. Oh, that looks amazing. And an orange cake. I'm a bit full for my pointy out, so I'm gonna wait first. While I do that, I'm gonna edit my pictures. Now, you might be thinking, how can you go on apps on the P40 Pro? Well, I'll tell you why, because on Huawei, we actually had this thing called the Petal Search. Now, Petal Search means you can download any app you like. I'm talking about Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. All you do is click on the Petal Search and you download the apps instantly. And what's even cooler is you can actually get a widget for your home screen. So this is really cool. So literally, all you have to do is select the Petal Search widget and straight away, boom, you can now search for any app you like instantly. It's awesome and now I'm going to edit some pictures because I took some very nice pictures. So another thing that I love in Penang is the grab car. Oh my god, it's so cheap. Like literally, you go from one place to another place and it's like six ring it flat each time. But I've got to say, Penang, the jam is very, very bad. So I have to play some games. Now, I love Call of Duty. Do you guys play Call of Duty? If you play Call of Duty on your other phone, and it's linked to Facebook. All you have to do is literally log in via Facebook. And once you log in via Facebook, you're just gonna connect to your old account. It's simple, and you can play the game still. All your data, all your game progress is still there. So call the Julie, I can play it whenever I want in the plan jam. So soft, so fluffy. So I've just transferred recently from my old Huawei to my new Huawei, the P40 Pro. And I was actually really surprised at how quick it was to transfer all my chat history. So on the Huawei P40 Pro, right, I love the backup features, okay? Huawei Cloud is so damn good. Okay, on some phones I've used before, backing up things and transferring your data takes a long, long time and the process is really long. But what I love about this is all you have to do is go on your old phone, back it up on the cloud backup, and then once it's backed up, just simply go on your new phone, and all you have to do is select the old phone back up. Just select it, and it comes up instantly, and within about five minutes, you have all your WhatsApps, you have all your WeChats. I don't use WeChat, but WhatsApp, I do, and it's on there instantly. So quick, to patch your back. And speaking of the Huawei clouds, all right, this is, this is quite ridiculous. This is quite crazy. You can actually get 2,000 and 
48 gigabytes of storage on the cloud for free. You can actually get it for free until the 31st of December. If you've got the P40 Pro, all you've got to do is simply click on upgrade storage. 2048 GB for free is yours. Crazy. So I just got back from Penang, I'm in KL now, I'm in my home and I just can't believe I flew all the way to Penang for the food. But you know what, it was so worth it, that crazy owl, whoa, sadap, that fried oyster, sangat sadap. And I was very impressed with all the pictures I took on my Huawei P40 Pro and all the features. It's an awesome phone and I can't wait to do a vlog on it. I think I should do a vlog and see what it is like. And speaking of vlogs and my channel, if you've not subscribed yet, you know what to do. Hit that button down below and tell me as well in the comments what food I should try in Malaysia. Which state should I visit? Leave a comment down below and I will do that. Peace out.